today I'm making a fruit Christmas cake. So we're going to make a fruit cake using fruit. It is the season to be jolly. We've got a, the traditional fruit cake is that really thick, fruity, dry fruit type of cake with lots of sugar and everything. And we thought we'd put a spin on it. I've got a really good friend. She's very creative and she constantly shows me photos of the creations she makes. And this was one of them. And I thought this was the perfect idea for Christmas, especially in the middle of the table. It's going to be like better than a Christmas tree, hey, as a decoration. Can you cut some shapes for us, some Christmas shapes? So we're going to make a fruit cake using fruit. And what we've done is we got a whole watermelon and we just cut the sides off until you could see it all being red and get... Whoa, is that good? Okay, don't hurt yourself. We've got a rock melon. You can use any fruit, but make sure it's a melon or something large like this. Um, we've got a, a rock melon in the middle and we're going to use a fresh pineapple for the top. But before we do, I'm going to show you um, with the rock melon, we should cut it a bit smaller. It's not sharp enough for the bottom. It's not sharp enough for the bottom? Yeah. So maybe I'll cut it. Maybe I'll cut it in half here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's reached the You bonnet. did it. You did it. Awesome. OK, so I'm going to cut some of that off there. Now, it's not going to be perfect, but it looks so good once it's done. Now, we've got to clean the middle of this because it's got, you know how it's got all the seeds in the middle? So we're going to clean the middle of it out and we're going to fill it in with some blueberries. So when they cut it, all the blueberries will come out. Ta-da, start! Ta-da, you got a star. So get your kids involved and give them some cookie cutters that are Christmassy. So stars and what have we got here? We've got, oh, we've got some gingerbread men and we've got Mama, some we stars. The parts of the triangle. The parts of the triangle. Okay. Now I'm going to clean the middle of it. Okay, kids, don't do this at home, okay? Okay, the middle's all clean. Middle clean. That wasn't too yes, hard. Thank that wasn't you. Too hard for me. Thanks. That wasn't too hard. Okay, and I'm going to fill it with blueberries. Blueberries. Yep. Fill the middle with blueberries. Okay, I done it. There we go. You can fill it with glazed it. cherries as well. Make it a little bit sweet. And then on top, we're going to put the. Oh, what's that? The pineapple. I'm going to use a skewer on the sides. That's a good. So what's this is going to keep it together. So that if you're if you're going to someone's house, you can take it with you without it falling everywhere. And in order to get the fruit on there, so let's get good work, Moses. That looks awesome. So in order to have the fruit stick on there, we can use a little toothpick, and that'll keep it in there. But you might need to use. Can turn around a little bit for me, mate, because I can't see it. There we go. I can't see the thing. Oh, we'll have to turn it around. Yes, definitely. So let's put that in there. It's so much fun just decorating it. Yeah. All right. So we are going to continue decorating and we are going to show you the end result in just a moment. Ta-da! Say ta-da! Ta this is the end result to our fruit Christmas cake. That is awesome. And it's going to look awesome in the middle of the table. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Enjoy the holidays and we'll see you next time, next week with new recipes.